we saw over an 11% increase for the month of February in the Edmonton's real estate market. I'm Melody Wilson with Real Broker, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about what happened in the month of February in Edmonton's real estate market. So no big surprise, the Edmonton real estate market took off in February. In January, it was already extremely busy like we talked about last month, but February started off with a bang and it went out with a bang. It's still pretty strong in March right now, but I'm gonna to talk to you about what happened in February, where we are sitting in terms of the average price, average days on market, what it means to you as a seller, what it means to you as a buyer. So first off, we are in an absolute seller's market. Seller's market is when the inventory is extremely low, so houses available for sale, and the demand is extremely high. So we have buyers that are looking to buy. What is the reason for this seller's market? The seller's market is always a guess. However, it's pretty obvious right now, people are looking to move, but we've also got people from out of province, not only looking to move for affordability, but also parking their money for investments. We're seeing buyers come in here and buying 10 to 30 properties at a time with builders. Builder inventory has almost become nothing. They're increasing their prices every two to three weeks by 10 to $20,000, and it's still creating a demand. People are still wanting to go get into that market. We are seeing multiple offers on properties. Our listings are selling within a day, maybe even before they hit the market. Now we're waiting a few days to have all the showings, to have 15, 20, 30, 40 showings and multiple offers as in two, three, four, five. I've seen some houses that we went to go look at have an offer number seven come in by the time I called on the same day that it was listed. So currently your odds of selling as a seller are extremely high. We're sitting over 74% of listing absorption rate. So that means your chances of selling when if you list is 74%. But let's be honest, if you're selling a single family home, you have a very, very high chance of selling as long as you don't overprice your listing. It's very tempting for sellers to ask for the sky because they are seeing properties sell for well over what they've been listed for and what their market value is. Now notice I said two different things. Properties sometimes sell way over list price because the strategy is to price really low to get a ton of activity, to get the multiple offers. So if that property was undervalued by 20, 30,000 to get that and it sold 80 grand over list, it only really sold about 40, 50 over list, depending again on the true market value. Now, what is the true market value? We typically look at what has sold in the last 90 days. And when it's a market this hot, we look at the last 30 to 60 days. And we also look at what's pending. Things are changing constantly and the price values continue to change based on what buyers are willing to pay. So if you take a look at the average price, Edmonton's average price is over $500,000 now. It's increased month over month, year over year, and you can see that the price trend from January to February increased just over 11%. That's the biggest jump any month, any year has actually seen. The highest year we've had was last year at 7%, and just the month alone was 11%. So you can see that this is February, March, April, May are typically our busiest times of year. So it'll be interesting to see if Edmonton can sustain this pace. So far, it's looking like it is. Our weather is still much, very much winter weather. When that snow starts to melt and things start to feel like spring, our market always starts to pick up. So it'll be really interesting to see as our market adapts to spring from this busy winter spring-like market, what real true spring market's going to look like in Edmonton. So the number of listings that we have to, to the sold is gonna be a surprise to you. 1,000 properties sold in February, and we had only 1,343 active listings. So you can see the active listings, the number that we have available is definitely down month over month and year over year. We have had the least amount of listings in Edmonton single family homes ever, but yet we have record highs. If you look at how high our, um, solds were for February, you can see that it increased over 73% in month over month and 52.67% year over year. The average days on market went down from 52 in January down to 41 in February. Now, don't forget this is including all the other properties that have been sitting on the market for months and not moving because it is still possible not to sell your house in a seller's market. How? If you're overpriced, you're pricing yourself out of the market. If you're not preparing your home for sale and it doesn't look good and it doesn't, 
demand the money you're giving, the staging, that's super important too. That's why we still believe, even though the market's hot, to do the photos, to do the professional video, to do the digital marketing, to do the staging, to do all those things and prepare because you're leaving money on the table as a seller if you don't do that. So the, what's the most popular price point? Between 300 to 400 and 400 to 500 have always been popular, but those two price points are actually quite similar in the number of sales that have happened so far this year. Next in line is four to 500,000. That's actually becoming more and more common because obviously the average price point has now inched upwards into the 500. So I think we're gonna start to see more sales in the four to five and the five to six this coming year. What does this mean for you as a buyer? As a buyer, you need to be absolutely prepared. Have your team on board, have your pre-approval completely in place, have the mortgage broker and your realtor working closely together to know what kind of conditions you can put on the property to make sure you're ready to go. Make sure that realtor, like we have close relationships with home inspectors so we can get things booked right away. Have the strategy in place with your agent to figure out how are we gonna win this offer? Depending on the house, depending on location, depending on how many offers there are, how many showings, how new it is on the market, we take all that into consideration and put a strategy in place and go over that with our clients to figure out what is the best way to win an offer. It's not just to submit an offer. It's not just to put an overpriced listing. You can still win an offer with a whole bunch of other different strategies and you'll want to watch one of our videos to talk about how to win a multiple offer to see more details. As a seller, I can't stress enough how important it is to still get everything done and not just put that one photo on your listing and just know that it's gonna sell because if you just price it at what low price or one photo, the market's so hot, it's gonna sell anyways. That may be true, but how do you know how much money you're leaving on the table? When a house looks amazing, you have more people interested, more offers, driving the price even higher. So with that, we will talk next month to see how the month of March went.